कृष्ण जन्मभूमि केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट लीव्स इट ओपन टू इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट टू डिसाइड प्ली फॉर सर्वे ऑफ शाही ईद का मॉस्क द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑन फ्राइडे रिफ्यूज टू एंटरटेन अ प्ली बाय द श्री कृष्णा जन्मभूमि मुक्ति निर्माण ट्रस्ट सीकिंग अ साइंटिफिक सर्वे ऑफ शाही ईद का मस्जिद प्रमाइस विच इज क्लेम टू बी बिल्ट ओवर कृष्ण जन्मभूमि द कोर्ट हाउ एवर क्लैरिफाइड दैट ऑल क्वेश्चन रिलेटिंग टू द श्री कृष्णा जन्मभूमि शाही ईद का मॉस्क डिस्प्यूट वुड बी लेफ्ट ओपन टू द इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट टू डिसाइड विच रिसेंटली ट्रांसफर टू इट सेल्फ अ क्लच ऑफ सूट्स सीकिंग वेरियस रिलीफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ऑन गोइंग लैंड डिस्प्यूट अ बेंच ऑफ जस्टिस संजय किशन कॉल एंड सुधांशु धोलिया वॉज हियरिंग अ स्पेशल लीव पटिशन फाइल्ड लास्ट मंथ अगेंस्ट अ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑर्डर ऑफ द इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट डिसमिसिंग अ रेड पटिशन फाइल बाय द ट्रस्ट सीकिंग अ डायरेक्शन टू अ लोकल कोर्ट टू डिसाइड एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर अ साइंटिफिक सर्वे ऑफ द प्रमाइस ऑफ द मॉस्क इन उत्तर प्रदेश मथुरा अ बेंच ऑफ जस्टिस जयंत बैनर्जी ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट अपेल द सिविल जज डिसीजन टू फर्स्ट कंसिडर एन एप्लीकेशन फाइल बाय द मॉस्क कमेटी अंडर ऑर्डर सेवन रूल इलेवन फॉर रिजेक्शन ऑफ द प्लेट ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ नॉन मेंटेनेबिलिटी बिफोर एग्जामिनिंग the plaintiff's application for a scientific survey of the premises to ascertain the correct position with respect to the disputed site during today's hearing senior advocate gorav patia appearing for the trust pointed out that after the civil judge had in march accepted the mosk committee application to hear its challenge to the trust plains first the uh, the elabad high court and may transfer to itself all the suits pending before the mathura court praying for various reliefs pertaining to the shri krishna janmabhoomi shahi eid ka mosque dispute allowing the transfer application filed by bhagwan shri krishna virajman and seven others the high court the senior counsel representing the trust urged o to have applied its mind when considering the revision application challenging the civil courts march 31st order bhatia also argued that the trial court was precluded from passing the order in view of the transfer of the suits in response justice call pointed out that the civil judge's order preceded the elabad high court's decision to transfer the suits the trial court therefore had the jurisdiction to pass the order the judge said at the same time the judge expressed surprise over the high court exercising its revisionary jurisdiction with respect to the trial court's march 31st order even after transfer of the suits to itself the consequence of the transfer order was that the high court became the court of first instance or the trial court noting this justice call said the transferred court cannot be the revisionary court in the peculiar circumstances Bhatia asked the bench could it be clarified that the trust can approach the high court with this plea so that i am not left in the lurch and remedy less at this juncture advocate tasneem ahmedi the counsel appearing for the committee of management trust shahi masjid eid ka informed the bench that the high court's transfer order was challenged by it in a special leave petition After hearing the submissions of both counsel the bench clarified that while it was unwilling to invoke its power under article 136 in view of the pendency of the litigation before the high court all questions to the krishna janmabhoomi shahi eedga masjid this dispute would be left open for the elabad high court while dismissing the petition justice call pronounced the trial court passed the order before the transfer took place and so it cannot be said that the trial court did not have jurisdiction jurisdiction to pass the order the high court on transfer will do the trial court and become the court of the first instance that being the position it cannot be urged that the said court should also be the revisional court against the order of the trial court as to what is the consequence of the transfer of the matters 
whether the proceedings filed in other suits related to order order 26 rule 9 of the code of civil procedure should be decided first whether this suit should await those proceedings or are all matters to be considered by the high court on the transfer of the matter thus we feel we are not required to exercise jurisdiction under article 136 more so in the interregnum as there are various issues at large there uh, that are pending before the high court as the court of first instance we also note the submission of the respondent that against the order of the transfer order a special leave petition is pending before this court thus what we have observed above will be without prejudice to the right and contentions of the respondent in that special leave petition the petition is dismissed in the above terms the counsel appearing for the mass committee argued it should not be read as any direction that the high court will decide the application under order 22 first have we asked that we have only said it is for the high court to take a call just as call assure now background of the case is the shahi eid ka mosque was built on the orders of mughal emperor aurangzeb adjacent to the krishna janamsthan temple which is believed to be the place where the hindu god krishna was born in 1968 a compromise agreement was brokered between the shri krishna janmasthan seva sansthan which is the temple management authority and the trust shahi masjid eid ka allowing both places of worship to operate simultaneously however litigants who have sought various forms of reliefs in relief in court with respect to the krishna janmabhoomi including the trust that has now approached the supreme court insist that the compromise agreement was made fraudulently and is invalid in law the current controversy is over whether an application questioning the maintainability of the plane filed by the shri krishna janmabhoomi mukti nirman trust ought to be considered before deciding on an application seeking an office for a survey and scientific commission to be constituted through an independent and competent authority these applications were filed in a civil suit pending in a mathura court instituted by the petitioner trust seeking to represent the rights of the hindu community over the mosque which was allegedly constructed after demolishing hindu temples the civil suit has prayed for an injunction and a declaration that such a construction cannot be a mosque and that the compromise in 1968 on the basis of which a decree was passed was a sham and fraud which was played on the court making both the compromise and the subsequent decree null and void the petitioner trust claiming the right to worship at the site where the mosque stands today has also sought the mosque removal the local court decided to consider the aspect of maintainability raised by the mosque committee in an application under order 7 rule 11 of the code of civil procedure before considering the petitioner application for rejection of the re- respondent's plaint as well as for a scientific survey to inform the court about the correct position with respect to the disputed site aggrieved by this order the uh, trust approached the elabad high court but a single judge bench dismissed its red petition the petitioner trust contended before the high court that the civil judge should adjudicate its application before deciding an order under order 7 uh, rule 11 cpc application of the mos committee and up sunni central work for board objecting to the suit filed by bhagwan shri krishna virajman and others however a bench of justice jayant banerjee held that it was settled law that where in a suit its its maintainability has been questioned then the fact has to be de- determined first and no other pleadings nor any evidence may be considered by the court while adjudicating in respect of an application under order 7 rule 11 so the case is shri krishna janmabhoomi mukti nirman trust versus shahi masjid eid ka management committee it's a special leave petition 
नंबर एटीन फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री